everybody. I'm your boy Retro Bliss, and this is Retro Bliss Gaming. And I have a question for you. Have you played your Atari today? And we're about to do that. And this is another uh, great episode of uh, Have You Played Atari Today? And uh, we're going to play uh, a couple homebrews that we've never played before. I know that I've never played them. Um, I have a bunch. I have a bunch, a bunch of homebrews um, that I've not played before, and I want to share them with you. Uh, both of these game, both of these games, I have um, links in the description where you can get them um, for your collection if you decide to uh, either uh, emulate them in Stella or put them on your Harmony cart. Um, I don't know uh, if they're available to actually purchase. I don't think they're in cartridge form, but <clears throat> they're called, uh, Tomahawk 77 and, uh, the other one is called Power Off. I think Tomahawk 77 may have been an arcade game, but I'm not a hundred percent sure about that. However, um, they're, they're, they're kind of interesting um, but I, before we get going, um, I want to invite those of you who may be new to the program uh, to uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'd love to have you as part of the uh, channel. The channel is growing. Uh, we're going to reach a thousand subscribers uh, very soon, and um, we'd love to have you as part of the part of the channel. Uh, we do a lot of live streaming of not only uh, Atari. Um, games but we do other uh, platforms as well uh, retro platforms um, including uh, Sega Master System uh, we actually do Xbox um, Super Nintendo um, I've actually done uh, some uh, PS2 some Wii uh, and some other platforms uh, just to name a few and uh, so we'd love to have you as part of the channel. And we also like to invite you to uh, be part of our um, uh, Facebook group. It is, uh, if you look on Facebook, it's called Retro Bliss Gaming. And uh, one reason you might want to do that is because we have fellow uh, content creators that get on there and they uh, post their gaming content on there, a lot of which is live gameplay. And we have other uh, members on there who like to post uh, retro content on there. And I also uh, post uh, previews of things that we uh, uh, that I post uh, on this uh, channel as far as like reviews and things like that. So uh, we'd love to have you as part of that as well. So um, before we get going on that, <clears throat> I wanted to give you guys a little uh, uh, taste of something that I got yesterday. Uh, I actually have had this before. <clears throat> I, uh, I have uh, Xbox uh, One and Xbox 360 and... I like to play racing games, and on the 360, I have uh, I like to play Burnout and Burnout 3, and on Xbox One, I have the, uh, a couple of the Forza games and uh, some NASCAR games and whatnot, and so uh, I had picked up a uh, Ferrari 458 um, racing wheel, but I didn't really have a good way to uh, uh, mount the, the, the racing wheels. A lot of people put those on their desks and whatnot. And so uh, I happened to be looking the other couple days ago, and I I saw a guy had a, he had a basically a brand new one that he had uh, bought, decided he he didn't like it, uh, and uh, he had posted it on a marketplace Facebook Marketplace, and uh, he had uh, sold it to me for uh, fifty bucks. I wanted to show it to you. It's it's really cool. Let me uh, show you the picture here. I mounted it. It's uh, it's really cool, and uh, so <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a review of this wheel uh, with some of the games that I play on this uh, racing wheel. Uh, it's it's pretty amazing, a lot of fun to play. So uh, I'm really excited about having this set up in my game room. So uh, thought I'd do a little, be a little braggadocious on that today. <laughs> So, um, we're gonna, we're gonna, um, but we're gonna play some Atari today. And, uh, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna play Tomahawk 777. 
So let me get that going here. Let me find it here. And these are all home brews. And like I said at the outset, um, there are links in the description where you actually can get these games if you'd like. And I do suggest that um, if you're watching these to make sure that you have, you're watching these um, at a frame rate of at least uh, 60 frames per second. <clears throat> because some of these uh, uh, games, for some reason, the, the, the way that they're set up, they're, I don't know why it, it just, they, they need to be watched at 60 frames per second. So, all right, without further ado, let's get to it. Now, I don't, I'm not very good at these. I've not really played these. Now, what I did notice that they look like these, um, Star Wars ships coming at you, but you're a sub and the water level shrinks. And, uh, so as the water level shrinks, you, uh, you can't maneuver very well. Ah, I seen it there too. Now see, the water level didn't increase that time, so I'm in big trouble now. I don't know why. Ah. It's almost like playing Space Invaders. Now I can only go side to side. Dang it. Game over. <laughs> okay not bad not bad play on let's play again 3500 do better <laughs> Come on. Now see the water level increased that time. Man, it's harder than it looks. Ah, thought I had him. Dog. Well, let's try again. About the same score that time, too. Oh, man. This, your sub is really wide too, so. Ah, 
That was stupid. I should guess I should stay back. Not sure what a good technique is yet. Well, I guess a good technique is not to get killed. <laughs> that was a bad game. Hey. Oh, Yogos is here. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Nice to see you, buddy. It does sound pretty good. Oh man, it's hard to avoid that. Oh, they're all coming at me now. Oh, got a free man though at 5,000. Boy, it's getting hard. Ah, I couldn't move. Out of the way. Game over, I think. Oh, man. Hey, Darren's in the house and Cannabis Kid is back. Huh. Guys, this game is called uh, Tomahawk 77. It's a homebrew. And uh, I've included a link in the description where you can download this game. Um, I'm not sure. It may have been a an arcade game. I think I may have read that, but I, I can't recall. But um, I thought it was really cool. I was kind of scanning... I'm trying to do more of a variety of um, 2,600 games. Another thing, too, and I want to bring this to you guys' attention, too. Um, I never really was a, um, a Nintendo guy, a regular Nintendo guy. I never had one. But I'm very interested into, into getting and in, start playing some of the games. And um, I wanted to uh, get some advice from you guys if you guys have ever played any Nintendo games and what you would suggest uh, in maybe let what I should stream and learn to play. I'd be embarrassed to do some games, you know, online. I don't want to embarrass myself too bad, but... You know, I I I would definitely be willing to learn some Nintendo games. I'm not I'm not real good with Nintendo games because I've never really played any. But uh, obviously, some of the Mario games are classics. But you know, there there was such a vast library of Nintendo games. But anyway, that's something that I I kind of want to uh, expand my um, 
knowledge on. So anyway, let's let's get going with uh with this. We're gonna continue on with Tomahawk 77. 777, sorry. These look like those Darth Vader ships coming at you. Dang it, already. Dang it. Couldn't get out of the way. I never had an NES. I actually, I don't, I still don't have an NES. I have, um, dang it. I can play NES games, but, um, and I have some NES games, but I, and I actually can emulate anything. That's what I was going to say. I can, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to embarrass myself by trying some of these games with you guys, but do you have any suggestions? Maybe we can start doing that. This is not good. <laughs> Get Lost Games is in the house. What's up, man? Getting tough, man. Ah, wedged me in there. I can't move up because the water level's too low. Doggone it. I'm getting a little better at this game. You know, Contra, yeah. 
yeah let me write these down man that you know what punch out is a is a good let's let's do this let me write this down punch out contra good suggestions good suggestions i've never heard of wizards and warriors is that hard never heard of that all right let's 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 play this some more hmm Now this is a fairly new, as you can tell, this is a fairly new homebrew. It, it was uh, it was done in 2021, so it's only a couple years old. Ah, seriously, people. Couldn't get out of the way. Oh, come on. Oh, man. You guys got me wanting to practice some NES games now. Getting distracted, my fault. Shouldn't have went for it. I shouldn't have went for it. And I, I should have known. Keep going. I think I got the sick like sixty five hundred. That was my best so far. Blew it there, too. I 
thought I cleared it. Really? Oh, I had it too. Ah! No! Seriously? That is so frustrating. That is so frustrating. I tell you what. <laughs> okay, I'm writing I'm writing these down, guys. Uh Master Blaster Rescue Rangers Metal Gear. RC Pro-Am. Don't give me anything that's too hard. Balloon Fight. Okay, I think I got enough to get going. All right. Let's play this one some more. We'll play this one one more, and then I want to show you the next game. The next one's pretty cool, too. I actually think it's a little harder than this one, actually. This one's a shooter. The next one's not. You'll see. A little tough. What? Did they up the difficulty level on me or what? I could get away. No, right on the bow.
No! Oh my goodness. I gotta write this down, a homebrew for the NES. Okay, uh, I'm gonna mention it uh, verbally here because some of you guys are not, are not privy to the chat. There's a homebrew for the uh, NES called uh, Super Mario 2 hack called Beatles Adventure in Pepperland. I'm writing it down. Oh, uh, Mario hack. Okay. Sorry, I can't write that quick. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, I want to show you this other hat, this other uh, uh, game that I found. It's called Power Off. And um, from what I understand... Okay, I'm gonna turn the volume. I'm gonna mute the volume here for just a minute. Um, let's say you play the role of a Brian uh, Merrick, and you must deactivate a computer that has run amok. This new uh, supercomputer designed by your father was created to help mankind in its instantaneous computer abilities, but something went catastrophically wrong when. Your father switched the machine on, and now you must run through the level after level of the giant laboratory and deactivate all of the energy pills before it's too late. While doing this, you must avoid the robots uh, who have been programmed by the computer protect, to protect it at all cost. So you have to go through this uh, level, get the energy pills, and then I guess um, once you get the pills and you go to the next level and get all the other energy pills. And so it's almost like a Donkey Kong. You get the energy pills and then you go to the next level. So that's what it's basically about. And it's, it's, it's uh, somewhat, it's called Power Off. And there is a link in the description for this game also. I'm gonna turn the volume down just a hair. Although I don't think during the game, I don't think during the game it comes on. And I don't think, You gotta do it just right. And I've not really played this game, so. Ah, dog. Okay, I'm trying. Give me a minute, I'll figure it out somehow. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, give me a moment. I'll figure it out. Oh. 
Oh, too much. Man, you got to learn the pattern. It's almost like um, Load Runner, almost. No, I should have gone. Oh, dang it. Nope. Panicked. Man. <laughs> this game is tough. Tough, 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 tough. This game, um, into the vertical blank. I like that name. That is an intriguing, an intriguing name. Into the vertical blank. Uh, this game is called Power Off, and um, there's a homebrew. If you give me a minute here, actually, I will tell you this. There's a link in the description where you can get this game. You can download it uh, from the Atari Age store. Um, it was released in 2004 by uh, Ebit, EB Vision. Um, and it was in cartridge form. Um, it was, um, I guess, programmed by uh, Eric uh, Batcher and uh, Igor Barzaz. Zialar or something. I don't know. I, I butchered that all up. Um, uh, I don't think it's in. It's not. Let me look in the Atari H store. I want to see. It might actually be in the Atari H store. Let me look. Give me just a moment, guys. I should have looked this up at the beginning. It is. You can buy this. <clears throat> this is for you can download it for free. You're welcome. But <laughs> uh you can buy this in cartridge form if you'd like. Um I will I will provide a link in the description of this video. Give me just a moment so I can copy this link. I will add that at the end of the broadcast. I will provide a link if you would like to buy this for your 2600. We are a preposition. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that means, brother. Um, it does. It does remind me a lot of Load Runner, man. It does. But anyway, let's get to it, man. I I want to. I want to do it again. This is. It's so difficult.
think, how am I supposed to get over there? Oh, almost had it. Oh, no, no. so close you see that and I gotta start all over oh man I'm so upset <laughs> you know load runner frustrates me about the same too Load runner frustrates me about the same. Hey, Darren, thanks for hanging out, bro. I appreciate you, man. Um, yeah, you guys don't when when I start streaming the NES, please understand that I'm 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 fairly new to the NES, so uh, I, don't make fun of my gameplay. Uh, you know, just, just experience it, the NES, my newness to the NES with me. So, <laughs> so appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for stopping by Darren. Um, okay. I'm going to, uh, see if I can, I'd like to at least get by level one before the end of the broadcast, but we'll see. No, that's not working out. No. should have been more patient okay try again dang it i hesitated too much
keep forgetting that he ca he can come over all the way. See, he goes back over to the right there, but I... Can't go up. I'm gonna go back down. Ah! Nope. It didn't work out. Ah! Couldn't go up the ladder fast enough. Barely made that. Ah, oh, gone it. Frustrating. again. Nope. Ah. Oh man, so 
frustrating. Dang it. I I didn't think it could come over that far. Dang it. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Let's try a couple more times. Let's 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 play at least one more. Rage reset. I shouldn't have hesitated. Dang it. This is getting ridiculous. All right, one more game. One more game, guys. We're gonna try this one more time. Hesitated. Go up. Go up. Ah. I hesitated. I hesitated. You cannot hesitate. As soon as I hit that ladder, I need to go right back down. Oh, my goodness. This is 
not working. No, it's not going to work. Oh no. Up. Man. This game is frustrating, but it's addicting. It's a lot like Load Runner, which is another game I'm waiting on. Albert, please, I want my games. I'm so scared that I'm not going to get my games. Two months. Two months. Want my games, Albert. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys being here. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Um, as we stated before, we're going to try to do some NES games here uh, shortly. And uh, I got some good uh, suggestions from you guys. Punch Out Contra, Wizard and Warriors, Metroid, uh, Master Blasters, Rescue Rangers, uh, Metal Gear. Uh, uh, RC program and a balloon fight, and then uh, of course the uh, uh, cannabis kid uh, mentioned Beatles adventure in um, Pepper uh, Pepper Land, which is a Mario hack. I'm gonna look into that also. So uh, appreciate you guys being here. So with that, y'all have a blessed day. I'm out. Not sure if I'm gonna be at uh, by a little later, but I'm gonna try. We'll see what happens, but uh, you guys have a blessed day, and we'll see. We will see you on the next one, though. So take care. Bye bye.